up guys? Steve, I1 Fitness. Realignment. Mental and physical realignment is what I'm going to talk about today and I think it's a relevant topic because I haven't done a video in the last two weeks. So uh, it's a good time to, to talk about that and talk about what I've been doing and uh, move on from here. Uh, two weeks without a video doesn't mean I haven't been training. Actually it's been uh, to the contrary. I've been training really hard and I took the last two weeks to focus on that. Um, I had some vacation time last week and although it would have been nice to get up video content and focus on that, I actually just used the time not only to rest because uh, I work a lot of hours and just the, uh, the breakdown on the body over time from doing that and training at the level that I do at my age, you know, I mean it's it take a toll on anybody. Uh, so I wanted to uh, use the week to get some rest, but I made sure I got all my training sessions in. I got at least five uh, workouts in in the week that I was off, and then this past week I was back to work. Um, I ran a tremendous amount of miles. Well, about 2,700 miles is enough to uh, to run you pretty ragged, but I still was able to get five workouts in again this week. So uh, even though there hasn't been videos up. Uh, and I apologize for that. I've been working on uh, training and focusing on the training and getting re regrouped. Um, I've had uh, a little bit of an injury for a while on a shoulder that's just been nagging at me. I've talked about it in other videos and it's it's something, you know, these are some of the things that go on when you're into this. It's not something that's been completely, de it's not been debilitating, but it's, it's a nag. So I've had to uh, you know, I've been gradually healing that, working around that, and that kind of brings me to, to the physical realignment. Uh, you've got to be able to listen to your body. You've got to take rest when you need it. Okay, don't be a fool. Now, I know some of you are younger. Uh, you might have a little bit more stamina, more resiliency uh, over time uh, than somebody who's older in their 30s or 40s or beyond. Uh, you're going to have to treat it differently. That's just the way it goes. But it doesn't mean that you don't work out with intensity. It doesn't mean you don't give 110%. It doesn't mean that you go soft on your on your uh, lifts and things like that. It just means that you listen to your what your body's telling you. I mean, everybody's going to preach that to you, and it's it's there. There are no never true word, truer words spoken because the uh, the body tells you. I heard a, an old bodybuilder say, uh, "The body doesn't." explain it complains uh, it, it tells you what it needs it tells you when it's really sore it, you know it kind of lets you know when you need to lay down and rest and things like that and I believe that uh, it's important to do and the more you you know that you get into this and the more you know you, you you're gonna you're gonna realize that you need to start applying those concepts and principles in your life and that's what I do if I if I need the rest I take the rest if I need a day I take a day if I need two I take two every once in a while every so many months you should take a week you should take some time to heal because your body takes a constant beating with the lifting um, and the exercise and it takes a constant beating if you have a job that you work a lot of hours at or you know you have family you've got obligations you know we're on the go all the time but the more committed you are to uh, working out and different things you know your body's going to take take some abuse and you need to rest it from time to time it's not bad abuse but it's going to take some and uh, it's good to let your joints heal, let your muscles heal. You actually do a good bit of your growing when you're resting, okay? Just because you have a nice pump when you leave the gym doesn't mean that's when all the growth is taking place. You know, you're going to tear down the muscle and then you're going to heal it. You're going to tear it down, heal it, you eat, you sleep, and you, and you heal. But uh, anyway, as far as the physical realignment, that's kind of what I'm talking about. You know, you've got to let the body recover get refocused, maybe approach your workout a different way if you've kind of stagnated on the way you've been doing things for a while and you, you know you want to change a few things up you know take the time to step back reevaluate and then recommit uh, like I said on the week I had off I trained with focus uh, this past week I actually had really good training sessions uh, with really good focus so uh, when I'm not putting videos up it doesn't mean I'm not working I'm, I'm still going after this uh, with everything I've got I just feel like in order to give it to you guys to the best uh, and give you the best quality and give you the best advice, I need to be making sure that I'm practicing what I preach and that I'm living the lifestyle, that I'm training hard 
and trying to put my physique in the best uh, condition possible so that I can then give that advice. I don't feel, I wouldn't feel comfortable giving advice to you if I didn't put in the work myself, if I didn't learn the lessons, if I didn't lean down when I need, you know, summertime's coming, I'm trying to drop a little bit of weight right now. Not a significant amount, I'm not on a, a major diet, but I've cut the calories back a little bit. I'm trying to increase the cardio a little bit just to get a good look for summer. Uh, it hasn't really affected me too much strength-wise lately. Uh, but I've changed the way I've been approaching workouts a little. I've been working on control, uh, contractions and squeezes, good movements. Uh, but this past week I did pick up the weight a little bit and do some heavy movements and I still felt pretty good. So uh, you've got to physically realign. And on the mental side, it's the same thing. If you're going through the rat race in your life and you've got a lot going on, sometimes we get overwhelmed, sometimes we get derailed, sometimes we question ourselves and we have doubts. It never hurts to fire up YouTube and listen to some motivational speeches or read your favorite uh, motivational author or uh, look up some quotes or find some things to help you mentally realign. I do it as often as needed. I love to listen to Les Brown and uh, Eric Thomas and, and uh, some of these different guys that you can find them on YouTube all day long. There's, there's great stuff out there. There's compilations. Uh, that people have put together themselves, just montages of, you know, and it's good sometimes to step out side of yourself let, and, and let that in. Uh, get refocused. Uh, find a source to draw from it, does, you know, because sometimes we all need that. We need to, to get uh, realigned. We need to uh, remember what our mission is and what we're trying to do and that we're capable and uh, get back on track. So I encourage it, you know, look up. Uh, you know, meditate, uh, do some yoga, whatever it takes to realign yourself because this is a long-term commitment. It's a lifestyle and it doesn't matter if it's this or whatever your goals are. You need to be focused. You need to stay focused. And if you have to step back and refocus, there's not a thing in the world wrong with doing that, both mentally and physically. Anyway, guys, that's all I want to talk about for today. Know that I'm out here getting it done for you. And uh, I'll have some more footage to come up soon. In fact, I've got a buddy in the gym. Hopefully, we're going to get together real soon and do a little uh, a collaboration workout for you and get some footage of that. Uh, and there will be some other things to come as well. Uh, the website is still a work in progress, but it's up. So if you'd like to go just peruse around a little bit, uh, you can go to iwantfitness.com. Let me know what you think. Uh, don't forget Facebook, I Want Fitness on Facebook. You can leave a comment there or send me a message. You can go to uh, Instagram or Twitter uh, at I Want Fitness. So there are multiple ways to get in touch with me. Uh, put a comment. Let me know you know things you want to talk about, things you'd like to see, and I'd be glad to work on them for you. Anyway, get out there and try to realign yourself. Uh, start your week off right. Kill it this week. Drive on. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.